everyone, it's Kim Dao here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys 50 things that you must do when you visit Osaka. A few months ago, I went to Osaka to sightsee and I decided to take you guys with me to some of my favorite places. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys where you should go to sightsee, where you should shop and where you should eat. Hopefully this video will be helpful to people who are traveling to Japan, especially in Osaka and Kyoto. Just before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and like this video if you want more videos like this. And also follow me on all my social media links down below to keep up to date with me on what's happening in my life. And also follow my vlog channel also linked down below for some daily vlogs. Shinsaibashi This is a main shopping area in Osaka. It is literally a long roofed street full of shops. They have almost all the things you would want to buy if you visit Japan here. Hamerika Mura Or you can also call it Hamemura for short. It's a short term for American village, selling goods from the US as well as lots of vintage stores. Pablo Try out one of their cheesecakes or cheese tarts. They are very light and taste delicious. There is usually a line because it's so popular. Depends on when you go, they also have really unique cakes. Hotonburi One of the main tourist districts in Osaka. There are lots of street food here, so make sure you check it out. Glico This is a photo everyone must take in Osaka. Eat takoyaki Takoyaki is famous in Osaka and it is an octopus filled ball. It is soft and fluffy on the inside and is a great snack especially during the cold winter. Hotonbori River Chill at the river in Hotonbori. There are usually a lot of people in this area so it's always really lively. You can also take a boat cruise to see beautiful views of this area. Don Quixote Don Quixote is one of the must-visit stores if you go to Japan. You can find so many things in here ranging from food, souvenirs, makeup and everyday goods. This store is particularly very busy and very touristy. Visit the Namba Underground Shopping Mall. Namba Walk is one of the nicest underground shopping malls in Osaka. Over 250 shops. It's super easy to get lost in here but it's also very convenient as it is connected to the subway. Horai Gogo Ichi One of the best meat buns in Osaka. It is incredibly soft and full of flavor. It is best eaten when it's fresh. Tennoji Tennoji is a bit further out from the main city. However, there are lots of tall buildings here. It is very easy to get to by the metro or JR lines and they have many shopping malls you can find here. Abeno Harukas this is one of the tallest skyscrapers in Japan. At the very top, you can visit an observatory for a fee. However, on the 16th floor, there is a free observatory. Taiyaki Eat the fish-shaped cake filled with red bean or custard. It is a delicious treat. And this is actually my host family's store at Mikuni Station in Santifu Mikuni, so make sure you pay them a visit. Tenden Town this is the Akihabara of Osaka. If you want to buy anime merchandise, then this is a place you have to go. They have many different stores as well as second-hand stores. Osaka Castle The Osaka Castle is one of the most famous landmarks in Osaka. This castle is actually really modern inside, where it has a lot of information on the history of the castle. Shaved Ice while taking in the beautiful view of Osaka Castle surrounded by a large garden, treat yourself to some dessert before or after entering the castle. It is perfect especially for a hot summer's day. Umeda Underground Shopping Mall Shop at the Witi Umeda. It has over 200 stores and they have restaurants, men's and ladies clothes, everyday goods, cosmetics, drug stores and shoes. Heko no te. Try out this really cute cat's paw bread. You can get it in the Umeda Underground Shopping Mall in a bakery. Ikashidori Ikashidori is a long street that has various shops from restaurants to entertainment shops. It is usually really lively. HEP 5 
This is like the Osaka version of Shibuya 109. It has most of the brands you can find in 109, but has a men's floor too. There's also a restaurant floor as well as a game center on the upper floors. The Ferris Wheel Ride the Ferris Wheel attached to HEP5. You can ride it by going up to the top floor in HEP5. Yodobashi Kamada One of the biggest electronic stores in Osaka. The upper floors have clothing stores and also lots of nice restaurants you can enjoy. The Umeda Sky Building This is the 19th tallest building in Osaka. It has two 40-storey towers that connect to each other. You can go to the very top of the towers to see an amazing view of Osaka. Grand Front Shop at one of the newer shopping malls in Umeda. Sushi Of course, if you are visiting Japan, you must try out Kaiten Sushi, which is rotating sushi. Universal Studios Japan In my opinion, the best theme park in Japan. You can come here to enjoy the magical world of Harry Potter. Osaka Kaiyukan The Osaka Aquarium This aquarium is one of the biggest public ones in the world. It is probably one of the most beautiful aquariums I've been to and it is also beautifully lit up at night time. Take a train to Kyoto If you have time in Osaka, take a day trip down to Kyoto. It is only about 30 minutes away if you get the express train and only about 500 yen one way. Take a bus to other temples in Kyoto. Public transport is very simple in Kyoto. Most of the temples are easily accessible by the bus. You can buy an all-day bus pass for 500 yen at Kyoto Station. Fushimi Inari One thing you must do in Kyoto is visit Fushimi Inari, one of the most beautiful shrines in Japan. The shrine consists of thousands of tori gates. The walk up the mountain takes a while but it is worth it. You can see a beautiful view of Kyoto from here. Run through the thousands of tori gates. This shrine was featured in the movie Memoirs of a Geisha. You can live your moment and run through these gates for a lovely photo or video. Eat at Tsujiri This restaurant is famous for their green tea. It is really popular so you may have to wait in line. I definitely recommend you try their matcha soba noodles and a parfait. Kinkakuji Visit the Golden Pavilion. It is such a beautiful view outside and it is great for those souvenir photos. Kyo Mizudera One of the most famous temples in Kyoto. It is very big and you can easily spend a few hours in this area. You can also see a beautiful view of Kyoto too from the top. Buy an Omamori Buy a good luck charm to take around with you. They have different charms for different things such as finding love, study, health and many more. Green Tea Cream Puff Enjoy a green tea cream puff on your way to Kiyomizudera. It's crunchy on the outside but very soft and fluffy on the inside. Souvenirs As you walk up to Kiyomizudera, there are many shops and restaurants you can go to. You can buy lots of Kyoto souvenirs as well as eat street food. Explore Gion so if you are very lucky, you may come across geisha in this area. There are many different traditional restaurants. Sanjo Sanjo is a lively shopping street in Kyoto. They have all kinds of unique shops as well as restaurants. Okonomiyaki Try at the Japanese pancake, Osaka style. 
It is filled with cabbage as well as toppings of your choice. Dine on the river in Kibune. This is a must do if you are coming to Kyoto in summer. Dine with a beautiful view on the river. It is so relaxing and definitely a place to remember. Hangashi Sawmen. The noodles flow down some bamboo and you catch it with your chopsticks to eat. It is very fun and also very refreshing in the summer. Harashiyama. Visit the bamboo grove. You can see many bamboo trees towering over you. It is a very beautiful and peaceful walk through the grove. Matcha dessert. Eat green tea desserts. Kyoto is very famous for their green tea, so I recommend you trying out some of the dessert places while you are there. Fire ramen. Experience the fire ramen where they will literally set your ramen on fire. It is also really delicious and the staff are really friendly. Sanomiya in Kobe. It's a shopping street located in the center of Kobe. You can even find some restaurants serving Kobe beef here. Chinatown. So the Kobe Chinatown is one of the only three designated Chinatowns in Japan. There is a long street full of Chinese restaurants and usually it's very busy. Port of Kobe. So the Kobe port is a really nice and peaceful area. You can see beautiful views and is a great place to relax. Take the cable car to Mount Rokko. You can drive up the mountain but if you want to see beautiful nature, then you can take the cable car up to Mount Rokko in Kobe. Mount Rokko Mount Rokko is in Kobe and once you go up the mountain, you can see a beautiful view of Osaka, Kyoto and Kobe from the observatory. Thank you so much guys for watching and hopefully this video was helpful for everyone who is traveling to Osaka and Kyoto. And of course there are so many things that you can do in Osaka and Kyoto, I couldn't add them all into this video. So let me know down below what your favorite thing to do in Osaka and Kyoto is if I didn't include it in this video. Please follow me on all my social media which I'll also link down below. And also my vlog channel because I'm uploading daily there and I've got a lot of Japan vlogs on there. And also let me know down below what other requests you have for videos and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!